Welcome back to the Dry Fire Journal. This is day 55, and we're gonna build on what we did yesterday in day 54. But first, I'm gonna show you that I have a completely clear firearm with my barrel block. The chamber and the barrel are completely blocked by this cool polymer guy, giving me solid visual indication that I am safe to fire. Uh, dry and I still want to maintain direction of least amount of consequence and all that good stuff but this gives me excellent visual indication that I am ready to dry fire. Also you can get your very own barrel block by going to blocksafety.com b-l-o-k safety.com enter the code redhawk at checkout and you get 15% off your order. I recommend getting one for your handgun and your AR. It's a whole lot of fun to dry fire with. I'm also going to use it today to remind, excuse me, <clears throat> I'm also going to use it today to remind myself to look my firearm all the way into the holster. A great thing about this barrel block, it reinforces my need to look my firearm all the way into my holster because the barrel block extends out a little bit and builds in another great habit. It's so much more than just a dry fire tool. It's actually really helpful for a lot of things. What I'm working on today is building off of yesterday, which was the slap as my hands meet. And I'm gonna build on that by adding into this the thought of having my hands move simultaneously in order to get on my gun. This thought comes from Mike Green at Green Ops. Mike is one of my good friends, also a mentor for me as an instructor and a shooter. And I sent him the video I'm about to show you of me trying to run a bill drill. I'm shooting at 15 yards on an eight inch uh, Throom target. And I'm trying to get a two second bill drill. It's just a personal goal that I have. I don't know if I'm gonna get there soon, but I'm working on it. And so here's the video that I sent Mike. And after the video plays, I'll tell you what he told me. So, Mike Green watched that video and said, hey, I think you can clean up your draw by having your hands move simultaneously to get on the gun. So let's talk that through. It's very easy for me to think, clear my cover garment, then get on my gun. I want us to think, and I'm trying to teach myself to think, move these simultaneously. Is it possible for me to get on my gun by the time my shirt has come up to, uh, to defeat my cover? So I'm gonna blade my body and let you see all this goodness right here and just show you what this might look like. I have to start by moving at the speed of discovery. Can my shooting hand drive onto my firearm by the time my support hand clears my cover garment? Hmm. Yep, it sure can. Can it be exactly as I want it to be? Yeah. I'm using a claw method in order to get out of the holster. You may use something different. So what that tells me is a micro drill that I need to work on all day today is not even coming out of the holster. Just getting this down. Because if you watch what I just did back, go ahead and click the 15 second back button or whatever, but you'll watch that my left hand made it here before my right hand got on my gun. So I'm gonna try it again. That felt pretty synchronous, but I don't, I don't wanna go by what I felt, so I need to watch this video back. Hmm, let's try it again. That felt better, but look at what my elbow did. I got really close, except my shirt did not clear the firearm all the way. I'm gonna give it one more go. <sighs> that did it. So this is what I'm gonna be working on today. What are you gonna be working on? If you're working on this, let me know and film yourself doing it and post it back to me here on the Facebook page and let me know. All right, Red Hawk family, let's get to work and I will see you guys tomorrow.